what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots and the frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the Hey guys, we on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest Come tour. On. How you feeling? I'm in the building. I'm feeling great. How you? <laughs> I'm good. So you've been in New York for a couple days or you just got kind of got out here? I've been out here for two days, but I always come here. Okay. Yeah. What you like about New York? Shopping experience and it's never sleep. You know, I'm one of them. Yeah. I stay up at night all the time. So, so you just go outside and it, find some shit to find do? Find some shit to do. <laughs> it's perfect. Everybody, <laughs> nobody, I don't feel like I'm by myself up when I'm up late, like wearing. Mm, type shit. Yeah. Yeah, so especially in the city, that shit always open. So I'm asking you a couple questions. Say the first thing that comes to mind. These are not crazy. These are regular questions. Same. What's your favorite color? Black. Favorite album? The Black album. Okay. Last movie you saw? Um, The Harder They Fall. One lesson you learned in the industry so far? Business and friendship, two different things. Stranded on a stranded on an island. What's three things you need? A girl, some weed, and some backwoods. We'll find the rest. If it's an island for food, fish, and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. What's the conspiracy theory you think is real? Um, aliens. Okay. Um, you got a picture. Give us a caption. That's one of your bars. Um. Uh, Still, Mr. Talking into a treeway, and they both related. What the word? Um, favorite <laughs> app on your phone? The FaceTime app, for sure. So you FaceTime all day? Bottom line, <laughs> that shit get the going. Okay. Um, favorite artist outside of hip hop? Um, I just keep saying Jill Scott. I'm gonna say it again, Jill Scott. Okay. Yeah. And last one. What's your most underrated song you feel like? Genie, hundred percent. I got sixty calls about Genie today, and it just an album been out for days. There's no star next to it, but it's like an underrated. It's yeah. catching, yeah. Yeah. So um, what was the process of making the album? Um, All I wanted was. A it was like, I just was finishing up one album and just getting back in the studio. It was just like basic, mm -hmm. treating this shit like a job, just in the studio consistently. Okay, so what was the vision for this one? Did you want to like be a little different with this one or? Yeah, I just want, I wanted to, uh, I wanted the album to be just as good as his poetry, but longer, you feel me? Mm -hmm. More vibes on there. I feel like it turned out exactly how I wanted it to be, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. For sure, I feel like you had a couple different vibes on there. For sure. I feel like I got you, you was talking your shit. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but um, one of my favorite ones was Broken Promises. Um, I think that was a real deep one. I fucked with that one. Yeah. Um, so, when making these songs, how you decide on what goes on the project? Uh, me and my team, we just sit down, we play all the music, we play it for some outsiders throughout the time that we making it, and then when we sit down with each other, we we like vote it up, we vote them out, you feel me, we figure it out, yeah. So walk us through the beginning, like how you got started into music? Um, Just listening through my mom and pop, but like start recording, my cousin rated, he had a studio mm -hmm. equipment thing in his career. He used okay. to be like, come over here, try to fuck with it. You okay. know what I mean? It was just fun to me. And then it <laughs> turned into, I was good. You feel me? Okay, so when did you realize you was good? I was like 14. I was in the backyard. My cousin came from like placement not too long ago. And he was like, mm -hmm. everybody looked up to him. He was crazy. Mm -hmm. And he was like, rap. Everybody say you correct rap. And I rapped. And he said that shit wasn't mine. He said, you ain't say that, bro. There's no way you said that. So mm -hmm. I was like. Damn, like, what, I'm that good? This nigga think I'm lying? Like, I'm rapping somebody else's rap is crazy. So that was, like, the point where I was like, oh, I might really be all right. Okay. All right, and then what was the support like in Philly? Like, was your family supportive, friends supportive, or is it, like, a little different out there? Family supportive, yeah, in they own, in they own ways. I mean, mom and dad don't really want their kids to probably be a rapper, especially when with, with surround rap in the city I'm from. Right. You feel right. me? Mm -hmm. They were supportive to the extent. To the, nowadays, it's like, my son doing his thing, you feel of me? Of like, In the yes. beginning, I had to just push through it, just show him to be supportive because I was good. The, the city mm -hmm. was supportive. Mm -hmm. The city embraced hot shit. So if you hot in the city, just keep working. That's the, my advice. Yeah, I've seen that. Meek had made a list on um, Threads, and he had put you on the list. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so um, are y'all locked in? Y'all did something? Song? Yeah. No, but that's my real homie. We, 
That's yeah. he one of the first people that like introduced me to the industry world. Like most of the stuff I know about the industry mm-hmm. beforehand was through him. Okay, okay, okay. So like um so in Philly, I guess how is the music scene out there though? Cause, you know, like, it's lit. It's a it's a um I would say it's enough music for everybody. It's enough music to go around. Like you could if you like R and B, it's a it's an artist out there that's doing it. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? But if you like drill music, it's an artist that's doing that. If you like yeah. pain music, like I feel like it's well spread. Yeah, and um, when do you which do you feel like you are melodic R and B rap? Cause you do a little bit of everything. Yeah, so. I would say I would say I'm definitely versatile. That yeah. would be my best way to describe my shit. Cause I love music. I still love the art of music. So mm-hmm. I be I be trying to be versatile. I want to do a song with Jill Scott. You feel okay, me? Like, yeah, I like yeah. the versatile vibe. But do you feel like you're? Do you feel like okay? So a while back, it was a debate on Twitter if like those artists like. No cap and Rilo or like R and B type. Do you feel like those are R and B type or that's like a whole new genre? You feel like? No, it's his own genre. I, I feel like T T Pain wasn't an R and B singer. They ain't. They, they if he was, they ain't respecting for it. The R and B singers kind of feel like the auto tune shit was like a turning point in the game. So mm-hmm. it's like the the melodic shit is just getting mastered. This shit yeah. T Pain did on the track years mm-hmm. ago, and they've been using it high in the music. Became like a sound that people like, and people mastered it. For sure. Yeah. So um yeah, so I definitely feel like you you kind of fit in that pocket too. Yeah. For sure. Um, when you when doing music, are you going based on like your own experiences or your friends' experiences or like how do you what inspires you when writing? I don't write, but like are so you it's, yeah. So it's okay. always like the just the mood off the room. If I'm making some hype shit, usually we all in a good mood. If I'm making some pain, we probably been talking about shit that been going on. It's like surrounding conversations and shit like that help me with my creative process. Okay, and I seen early on it was WP tour. Did yeah. you drop the WP? We well, no, know what I mean West no. Philly, but like. yeah, I mean West Philly. <laughs> no, I ain't never dropped the WP. My name just always been just tour, okay. always. But WP was just always in my Instagram name, so naturally people be like, "Who WP tour? Who WP?" You feel me? Yeah. I ain't never taken WP out of my name. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So how are you feeling about Philly right now? I feel like a lot of people in Philly are moving right now. A lot of artists are going up right now. Yeah. What you been doing? Um. I think I'm I'm happy for everybody. I feel like everybody gotta just stay focused, try to stay out that that system, stay out of jail, stay out mm-hmm. of them traps, and just keep working. The music gonna get you paid for sure. For sure. And then like in this project, you have featured with ESTG. How did y'all connect? Um, through through uh Neek cousin. He okay. introduced he introduced me to him. But I, I I've been around him a few times after that. I just ended up fucking with him. We ended up building a cool little bond. Yeah, that's yeah. that's fire. Um, yeah, he he seemed like he's a real like selective on the niggas he fuck with. Yeah, for sure. He a down to earth nigga though. He's solid. Yeah. He gotta be like that too. Once you get to a certain point, I feel like you should always be selective of what energies you let around you. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, you know, like you know, being in the industry, I guess like have you went through some of those experiences where you feel like you had to like cut some people off or like distance yourself huh. from certain situations? No, like, I'm I just I went through experiences just in life getting older, just dis- distancing myself, period. Uh-huh. From like everybody just to focus and locking on myself. When I'm when it's when I wanna get something done, sometimes you it's only you could get it done. So you gotta uh-huh. And if your friends don't respect you for for focusing on yourself and dipping off for a second they ain't your friends at all. Uh-huh. So let's dig a little bit deeper into the title. All, all I wanted was everything. What do you mean by that? Like, give us a. You know how you growing <laughs> up and you just want everything. It seems simple. Like I want this, I want that. When you yeah. ask your mom or you making your list for Christmas, Christmas. or just period, oh. like however it go growing up, yeah. it's like you all you really want is just everything. It mm-hmm. seems like it's so simple, but it's so difficult to get everything you want. Mm-hmm. Feel me? So that's. How do you feel like everybody is perceiving the project though? Like fan engagement. That shit doing great. Love. We might be at like. 3.5 million stream for me. I don't know if I'm selling it short. That shit roll. I might be selling it short. It's like, it's doing great. You feel yeah. me? The city, it's an airy car. I ain't in the city right now, but people mm-hmm. be FaceTiming me playing on, and playing. They be like this. Look, somebody right next to me. Look <laughs> look at this older person right here. I'm in a ch- I'm in the park. They playing chess listening to it. Like, shit okay. crazy. So um, what song do you feel like everybody's talking about? And what, what, yeah, what song do you feel like everybody's talking about first? Um, say My Name, probably. <laughs> uh, all the girls feel like say my name. Uh, can I can I fuck again? That's popular right now. Yeah. All it's all in it. That's the intro. So you know, I was really rapping. All my fans that that been around from the beginning. My core mm-hmm. fan base love to hear me really rapping. You feel me? Okay. So if someone that's not in tune with tour and they about to tune into the project, what song would you recommend they listen to? First? Um. Or they gotta start from the top. 
I would say starting from the top, it's a great project ran uh -huh. straight through. Like I feel like the reason why I put out projects instead of singles like most artists is because my music get consumed so well as like a body of work okay. because like I'm so versatile. So like it's fans that might want it to hear a girl record be my single that I put out, but I put out a drill record that's totally different. Yeah. So it's like I like to put out the body of work and get my fans all different kinds of fans what they want it. Okay. Do you feel like people don't value bodies of work anymore? I mean, of course your fans do, but yeah. I feel like, a, you know, people try to push the whole single, single, single thing. Yeah. I feel like, like, I feel like the industry, the industry set up to um, look like whatever is lit is what you should be doing. So like when you got an artist that's signed to a label, he got a big machine behind it. So his singles that he dropping is going to get the looks that it needs. Yeah. So that's why you think that you probably should do that. But you an independent artist without a fan base. I want to buy into you. You got to sell yourself. Mm -hmm. So, like, I remember the beginning of Future dropping project at the project at the project. Like, that shit yeah. builds your character. Then you end up with 12 singles that you could go perform that people actually know when you yeah. put out a lot of music. When you yeah. put out one single, you go on stage and you do that one song and nobody knows the rest and of your shit. And that's it. Your set is, your yeah. set is done. Yeah. Sure. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like projects is, like, important, especially on the, on the rise for sure. Um, do you feel the pressure though being that i guess you got your fans used to seeing you do projects and things like that do you feel like it's pressure or do you feel like you just push it all in every time yeah i think i just i just i just do what's natural i love this music <laughs> i really love music so it's like it's no pressure it's just like go do this shit that you love to do you feel mm -hmm. me for sure i mean and, and give us a little bit of like what do you feel like are the pros and cons right now of you you know going up pushing project traveling busy on um, the pros and cons yeah it's a list of pros I don't even want to say, but y'all get the idea of it, all the stuff that come with it. But yeah. the cons, it's like, you I mean, just you're going to have to sacrifice time away from your family sometimes. You're going to have mm -hmm. to sacri sacrifice time for your personal life just to work on your craft. Like shit mm -hmm. that you probably used to always doing, habits, you going certain habits you're going to have to let go if you really want to strive, you feel me? So what, what motivates you to keep going right now, though? Um everything about the music <laughs> like I, nothing don't not motivate me my daughter gonna always every day i wake up she gonna motivate me to do anything but mm -hmm. outside of that it's just like everything motivate me about it my fans my team like just knowing i gotta keep the ball rolling the marathon continues in the words of nip so definitely being someone from philly what advice would you give someone that's i guess either out there or anywhere in the world that's coming up and trying to get their foot in the door um I would say make good music, be yourself, build character through your music, make your sound. Don't try to sound like everybody else, sound like you. Find yourself. That's my mm -hmm. And tell people where to find you, how could they tune in with you? My name, WP <laughs> Tour 2T on Instagram, T O U R E. My name just T O U R E on everything else, all streaming platforms, DSPs. All I wanted is everything out right now. Go stream that shit for me. I appreciate you. Of course, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I think you like the you like the fourth Philly artist we had. Philly been pulling up. Okay. Yeah, we had Diamond. He came with Qua. Diamond Street King. He came with oh, Qua. Diamond Street King. Yeah, I know what that is. He are. Right. And then um, Rod Foreign. He up and upcoming. I know Rod Foreign too. Oh right, I ain't yeah, lit. So you been too. One of my shows before. Yeah, I fuck with him. <laughs> yeah. And that's the talk of the town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.